Hi, I'm Marie from Crochet A to Z, and in this tutorial, I wanted to show you how to make these really cute pouches. They're for Kleenexes, and they're uh, really great, and I love making these. They don't take long. You can make multiple ones of these in a day in different colors, and uh, they really make great gifts. And anybody that's a beginner or someone that wants to make something, say, for a bazaar and they want to sell them or if you're selling them on Etsy this, these are great little things to make and like I said they work up really fast if you wanted to make them and give them away as gifts if you wanted to also if you wanted to make them and also um, do say a bazaar and you wanted to sell them at a bazaar you could do that there's different things you can do with these you can give them away as shower gifts for thank yous for either baby shower or bridal shower and these could be little thank yous that you could give away uh, all you'd have to do is make the the pouch and then you put this right in the pouch and it really does make a really cute gift and you can uh, make it so that you can make them really fancy you can make them in different colors and like I did here I used a lion brand bonbon and I used a different color and I lined this all the way around so I made a little a border on this and just gave it a different look so this again is a lion brand bonbon and they come I think in either six or eight of these in a little package this is how small they are when you get them and it's really great now for this project all you're going to need is your yarn a scissors your crochet hook and this I'm using an H hook and you're also going to need a needle. And I love this needle. If you notice, it has a little bit of a curve to it. I find them easier to use than the straight ones. And also, if you want to have a pouch on hand, not a bad idea so that you know the size that you need to do. Some of these are thicker than others, so that's something you want to also look at. So you may have to add to your chains. So that's another thing. So I'm going to show you how to do this, and then I'm going to show you how easy it is to put together. So what we're going to do here, and this is a cotton yarn. You can also use acrylic. You don't have to use cotton. I'm going to use acrylic to show you um, how to make this, because I want you to be able to actually see the stitches. So let's get started. So. As always, we start with the slip knot and we'll do our slip knot. And we're going to chain 17. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Now, if you have never crocheted before, you can go to my videos to see how you do your slip knot, how you chain, how you do a single crochet, because that's all you're going to need with this particular pattern. So once you do that, you're going to go from the second chain from the hook and you're going to do a single crochet. And you're gonna do that single crochet right across. So you're just gonna do your single crochet. Right across. And I, as I mentioned, depending on how thick your, um, or how, yes, how thick your tissue holder, tissue is, um, you want to, you might make, have to make this shorter, you might have to make this longer, it just depends on the size, because different companies make them different sizes and lengths, so if that's, you just want to check to make sure because they're not all they're not all this size so that's something you want to check so like I said we're going to just do a single crochet right across 
and we're going to go into every and your starting chain does not count as your chain so the chain that your crochet hook is on does not start you know doesn't count as anything so i just want to show you and then you're going to go until your last you're going to do another single crochet and this is what it's going to look like and now what you're going to do is you're going to chain one and i want to mention that your chain one counts as nothing so now we're going to turn our work around and in that very same spot that you did your chain one you're going to do a single crochet and you're going to single crochet right across again your chain one and your turn your chain one does not count as anything so and this is a very easy basic straightforward pattern because what you do it's it's all it is is a repeat you're going to repeat it for as big as you're going to make it and when i say um as big as you're going to make it your amount of rows are going to determine be determined by how thick this is so sometimes it may not need quite as many rows so you could actually go and i just i did check this out you could go from 24 to 6 or to 26 rows it depends on the thickness of this so and um you know every manufacturer makes them different so that's what you gotta go by so again we're gonna single crochet across to the end and just a reminder for the new crocheters that uh, you're always going to, you never count, and I'll show you what I mean. You never count this because this is where you did your slip knot. So that counts as nothing as well. So we're going to, at the end of this, again, we're going to chain one chain one counts as nothing you're going to turn it around you're going to go into that very same area same and you're going to do your single crochet and you're going to do your single crochet right across and you can make this in acrylic you can make it in cotton yarn you can make it in a cotton blend yarn so and you're going to do this right across and this is going to be your repeat so i want to show you this is going to be a repeat and it's going to you're just going to keep doing it until you do your 24 to 26 rows now you may get a manufacturer that you might make have to make you know extra rows so you're going to go with that and I'm going to show you what's how you determine so because it's all about how, how thick it is so then we're going to go into this very last and we're going to chain one so when you turn around you always chain one and you always go into this always go into that first area where you made your chain one you always make sure that you get that stitch so i'm going to show you this last row and this goes right across and when i tell you this moves so quickly you can make one of these in about 20 minutes as far as what you're going to need to make the rest of the project so just to make this with your 24 to 26 rows you can make in about 20 minutes so then you go like i said right across and i'll show you 
again. I'm very visual, so I like to see what someone's doing. And I want it so you, your last single crochet right in here. Again, you're going to chain one. You're going to turn it around. You're going to go right in here. See, I want you to see it. And you're going to do a single crochet. And then you're going to keep doing this. And this is what it looks like. It's really pretty. Single crochet stitches are really not talked about a lot, but they are really pretty when you make things. I've made a lot of different things with just a single crochet. And the pattern, I think, is really pretty. So that's what you do. And you continue to do, to do this for 24 to 26 rows, or depending on how thick this is, this packet is. And I'm gonna show you what I mean by that. So this packet, I made this so that it's thick enough to pick this whole thing up. So that's what I mean by, if it's not, it's gonna, you're gonna know right away that it's, if it's showing like this, then you add another row to it, or another two rows to it. So that's why, so it, it closes up like this. And I also want to mention that I did my 26 rows on this, and this was just a separate row. Um, I won't even say that this is 27. I'll just say that this is a border because this is really thin, and I won't even claim it as a row, but it's my border. So I wanted to give it a little bit of um, a shiny look to it, a really pretty look to it. So then what happens is, and it doesn't matter which side you choose, because they both look the same. This is the end that I know when I started. I know this is my right side. So that's what I'm going with. But you don't have to do that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, that's what I'm going to see. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this. And I'm going to make it long enough so I don't run out. I'm going to cut it. I'm going to get my my needle. And I'm going to thread it. So let me do that. Sometimes it takes me a couple of tries cuz even though it's got a a thick you know white eye to it. Sometimes it takes me a little bit because of the yarn itself. Sometimes the yarn splits a little bit, so it's a little more So then so I, once I've done that, I do this. And I figure, okay, that's, that's pretty good. Right? So I'm going to show you. So that's what I'm doing. All right. And then I'm going to pull this out. And I'm going to start sewing this end. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to capture as much as I'm going to need. And I'm going to sew it right down the end. So I'm going to show you. I'm going to do this and I'm just going to pick up a little bit of yarn and I'm just going to sew it. I made this a little long, but I made it long so I'd have enough on the and you're just going to pick up and show you just going to pick up enough so that it closes it up. And you're going to go right to the end of this so you can see the needle. And I'm going to just see you. I want to show you. See you. You're coming to the end. 
I'm just gonna go in there. And I'm just gonna keep going. Now you don't pull it too tight because you don't want it to to pucker up or curl. So you just enough to grab what you need without pulling it and curling it because you don't want to do that because you want it to have a nice flat look to it. Now I'm coming to the end here and I'm just going to keep going. Excuse my my bracelets, they keep hitting the, that's the sound you're hearing. And here we go to the very end. I'm gonna just pick up that last, I'll show you, there it is. And that's the corner. And we're gonna pick that up. And we're gonna just get that corner. And we're gonna pull this right through. So see how easy it is? And this here is gonna come, I wanna show you. See how that's gonna come right through. So now you've got that top side. Now you're gonna get this side. You're gonna do the same thing. This time you're gonna pick it up and you wanna make sure that it's kind of, see how it looks. There you go. Now this is my, this is considered my, um, my wrong side. But like I said, you can make it whatever side you want, you can do it. So that's gonna do that. And I'm gonna go right along. Long. I've made Christmas color ones. I bought the Christmas yarn and I've made them for that and I've included them in somebody's gift as a little side gift, like as a um, something that I made for my, myself besides their usual gift. So I have given them away at Christmas. And you can, like I said, make them different colors. So you can buy the Christmas yarn. And now I'm gonna wrap this up because this is all set. And I'm gonna pull this in. And I'm gonna make, I'm gonna show you this. So I'm gonna bring this through. I'm gonna bring that through. And I'm just gonna put this in here and that's gonna knot it. And that's gonna be it for that. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this. And now I'm gonna go to the other side and we're gonna do the same exact thing that we did on this side. See how pretty that is? And it's really is pretty. I, I just like the um, the look of the nice yarn. It's a, like a metallic yarn that I used for the edging. And it just gave it a really nice, really finished look. Yes, you can make them like this. That's not a problem. You can make it like this, not an issue. But I just wanted to give it a little bit of a different look. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to start again, and I'm just going to pick up. And I'm going to go along. And see, see what's right there. And we're going to go right, right along. And 
we want to make sure that doesn't doesn't pull or pucker that's from the other we're gonna just go along because I don't want it to pull or pucker so see the you want it to look to be flat that's what you want it to do you want it to be flat we're going to pull this through tonight the yarn has a, a mind of its own so i have to guide it a little bit sometimes that happens so we don't let it see it's there you go you're almost at the end of that Sometimes, like I said, the mind has, the yarn has a mind of its own. And there we go again. Now here's my corner. So I want to pick that up really nice because I want that corner to, to have its full, fully there. And I want to put enough stitches. That's why I'm being careful when I'm doing this because I don't want it to, when you put the package in, I don't want the side to pull apart where you can see where you can see the uh, the pack that in there so I that's why I'm doing this so that it's it's just it picks it up and it just looks so that you don't have that you know happening so here's now I'm going with my second one and we're going to finish this off but that's why I'm doing that I'm taking my time to make sure that I pull it all in so that I don't have to and then what you can do is you can weave in any you can weave in any ends that you have after you're done like these ends you can weave them in like this was already weaved into what I made when I made this so all I'm going to do is cut that so here we go with we're coming to the end of this and we're gonna just do this right along. We're almost at the end. And I like to show you the whole thing, so I just don't want to walk away from this and not show you right to the end so that you're not, if you have any questions, please leave them in your comments. I do read them and I will answer any questions that you might have, but I want to try to make it so, or any comments about any of the tutorials. And now I'm at the end and I'm just going to do this. See what I'm doing? So I'm going to make sure, no, I'm going to make sure that this is pulled through and I'm going to go in here and I'm just going to, that's going to make a knot. If you want to do it a second time, if you feel better and you say, oh, suppose that comes out, that's fine. You can do it a second time and you can make, and just make sure. And then what you can do is you can cut this. And I'm gonna cut this one too, because I know I weaved that in into the, when I made this, I weaved it in. When I put my border in, I weaved it into my border. Now, what you can do is now you're going to, and this here you're going to also weave in after you're done, and then you can cut it. Then you're going to turn this to the right side, which I consider my right side because I sewed the, for that other side. So now you do that, and I stick my finger right in here, kind of gives it a little bit of a, And then what you're going to do is you're going to put your, your little package right in there. And there it is. And that's, and then you're going to weave this in naturally. But that's how pretty it is. And look how pretty it is. And like I said, with that extra little, little border, it gives it a little bit of a, a nice little border. Kind of gave it a, a nice look. And 
there's your pouch. And you can weave all the ends in. And what I would usually do is what I do is I get my crochet hook and I weave in that end by pulling it in. I pull it to the inside and then I, I'll weave it in to the inside of that and you won't even be able to see it. Now I wanted to show you something else that I do. You can leave this like this and you don't have to put anything on it and give it away like that. But you can also do this. You can also make these little things and someone can use that. They can hook it onto something. They could hook it onto their keys. They could hook it onto a lot of different things. So that's another thing that I wanted to show you. And what all this is, is I do a slip knot and then I crochet 20 chains. And I'm gonna show you on this one. I crochet 20 chains and where my slip knot is, that's long. And then I cut off and I kept that long. Then I turn this inside out, or should I say the wrong side out. And you pick a corner. So what I did is I look at this and I'll say, well, this I want it in this corner. So I grab these two ends and I get my crochet hook and I put it in one of the corners, whatever corner you wanna put that in. And I slip these through, through, from the, from the right side. So I'm gonna slip those through. So I slipped one through, let's see. I'm gonna slip them through. I'm gonna show you again, I get this end and this end where I made the knot when I finished off and where I made my slip knot when I started my chain. And I'm gonna pull this right through. So I'm gonna pull it through here and I'm gonna grab the other one. And if it didn't come through, I'm gonna get it, but it did, there it is. And then from the uh, uh, inside, I'm going to find a spot and I'm just going to put my crochet hook in there and I'm going to pull one of these into where that crochet hook is. So this is the way I do it. And I'll put it, pull it through. And then what I'm going to do is once I do that, and this is on, on the right side. I'm gonna knot this. So. And there are easier ways you can do this, I'm sure. You decide which way you wanna do it, but this is the way I do it. And I knot this. And I'll weave those ends in, and then I'll cut what's that remainder. And this is your little carrier. So if you wanted to put the package in here, your Kleenex package, and you wanted to add that to it, you can, or you can leave it without, which is fine too. You put that in there, and there's your, I just have to get this in there right, and there it is. And that's it. And there's the carrier. You can hook that onto a crochet, you know, onto a bag. You can hook it onto, um, and you want to make sure, the other thing you want to make sure is you want to make sure that that's pulled tight. Because if it's not, it's going to, you know, not, not be tight enough. But you want to make sure that it's pulled tight so that it doesn't show anything. And you may have to knot it more than once. I wanted to show you that. 
not at more than once because sometimes they pull and they'll pull out and see where you can't see where you could before but you can't see where the beginning is because you've knotted it enough and then you'll weave that in and if there's you know there's three there that I needed to weave in but I'm going to I'm going to knot them all together and there's your pouch that's your pouch right there. And that's your finished pouch. And you can add a border to this if you wanted. You can add a border right, even when it's finished like this, you can add a border to this. And this is a very soft um, yarn. So some of the yarns that are softer are a little bit uh, more, they move a little more the way they hold. This is a different kind of yarn. This is a, a thicker yarn, uh, a, di a thicker cotton yarn, and you're gonna notice. So you want that to have a little opening because that's where you pull your, your tissues out of, but that's what it looks like. And then the other one, there we go, same thing. You want to have that opening so that you can pull your tissues out of it. So this is how you make these pouches. And like I said, they're really cute and they don't take long to make. And they add a nice, um, it's a nice addition to your, your little crochet, um, you know, stash if you wanted to make some of these and sell them or if you wanted to make quite a few and have them on hand so you can give them as gifts. And that's what it looks like finished and it's really cute. So this is Maria from Crochet A to Z. I hope you liked this tutorial. I have a lot more coming. I have some puppy stuff coming as well. So stuff that you can make for your puppy. Here's another one. I wanted to show you the different colors that I made it in yarns that I made it in. Here's uh, the green and here's a lighter blue. And then here's a blue that has more than one color blue in it. These are all cotton. Here's that green again. And like I said, you're going to open, when you open that package up, they can pull their, their Kleenex right out of these. So they're really cute. And again, this is the one that I made with the little ending like these have as well. Or if you wanted to make one with nothing in the corner you can and if you make one with this you can make it either this color that you used your edging or you can make it the color that you made the whole thing so it it, do, it just depends on how you want to make it so again this is maria from crochet a to, a to z i hope you liked this tutorial and please join me again for our next tutorial on making something that you can make in a day give away as a gift make it for a bazaar um, and different things that you can do. So from Maria from Crochet A to Z, again, I hope you enjoy this tutorial. Have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Facebook. Thanks. Have a great day.